Well, researchers actually did this study several years ago. They brought at random people up and assigned them to the roles of quiz show questioners and quiz show answerers. Now, there are 10 questions. So the average respondent, they ran the study at Stanford University. These are smart kids. The average respondent out of 10 questions, the average contestant on this side of the stage gets four questions right. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a really hard task when you think about it, right? To subject yourself to the idiosyncratic knowledge base of another smart person. I, I do a variation of the study in my classes at Tufts, and here's an example of the kinds of questions you get. Number one, name all five members of NSYNC. Number two, who was the only president to serve on the Supreme Court. And number three, name all five members of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> this is the impressive, eclectic mix of information you get from a liberal arts education. And maybe this combination of judicial political history and pop music boy bands is right up your intellectual alley, right? For most of us though, at least one of those avenues, if not both, that's gonna be challenging. And that's why people only get four right. But that's not the interesting part of this study. The more interesting part of the study is what happens with everyone else, the audience who's watching. Because the researchers then say to the audience members, okay, we want you to tell us what you think of these two individuals on the stage. Specifically, on a scale of one to 100, rate the level of general knowledge possessed by these two people, the quiz show questioner and the quiz show answerer, the contestant and the host. Mind you, everyone there knows exactly what you know. They know that these people were picked at random. They know that it was a coin flip that determined who would stand over here and ask questions and get to show off his or her knowledge base and never be put under the gun of having to answer questions. And they know the coin flip puts someone on the other side of the stage to answer questions and to never have the opportunity to show off what he or she knows about a variety of different topics. Knowing all that, still, here's what the data look like. The average rating for the host, 82. The average rating for the contestant, 47. Okay. People think that the quiz show questioner possesses a broader range of information. Essentially, they, they, they think he or she is the smarter one, just based on what they saw. What they're doing is they're looking past context. They're avoiding, they're ignoring the situation that has set these people up here, and they're making conclusions about internal explanations for their behavior. That's what we do. Our default tendency as people is to see each other in terms of personality type, or consistent character, stable predisposition.